Hello my soccer universe. Last week I made a video where I said that the conference league is my big collection builder and in a way it is for adding new jerseys and I would have loved to have a video where I present to you an Olympiakos jersey. It's on its, it's, I'm working on it, still not quite here but there will be an Olympiakos jersey probably coming, probably too late if Villa do the trick but you know hey it adds to the Greek collection. But there was another one that I thought I need and I'm giving it away. It's of course Dortmund. I need it kind of, when I looked at it, I have from all the semi-finalists, I have at least three shirts, actually more. I think I have at least four shirts of each of the other Sam semi-finalists. PSG, I want to say I have five. Yes, five. Uh, from Bayern, I have four. Actually, I do have five Bayern jerseys, but, but one I'm, I'm trying to sell. They have so many varieties uh, that you kind of need to cover that. Well, up there, Dortmund is always yellow and black. Yes, they had some white jerseys, but I've never seen Dortmund wearing white. So they, are, they, they go into Real Madrid. I also want to say that I have uh, five jerseys from Real Madrid. So in that sense, I was covered. However, after the first leg, with only two Dortmund jerseys, these two, and Dortmund leading, I already had kind of this feeling. Um, yeah. Dortmund might actually do this because PSG didn't look all that good in that one and so uh, a search that really hasn't st that has been going on for a while but was never uh, you know high priority for another Dortmund home jersey was started and I found one for a, re a reasonable price because at the moment Dortmund jerseys go for a high price of course they are successful in the Champions League Adding to it is that, I mean, I found one for 20. I would have probably preferred a little bit cheaper. I think this one I got for a little bit cheaper. That's, uh, but you know, no matter what. Uh, adding to it, it was only a 10 minute drive from my home to pick it up. So I didn't even have to pay shipping. So uh, that was really cool. Any case, I drive there <laughs> and uh, it was not hard to find him because all this playground um, house, there was a huge door to flag. Check, checked out, uh, I was an L and I present to you the jersey uh, that I bought for 20 euros. Have to say it is in decent condition, but definitely not perfect. It's this one from 1617. Um, the sponsor, you can feel there is a little bit wear. I mean, it looks still all right, but especially here on the, the, the logo, there's a little uh, blemish and uh, the authentic tag here is completely shot. I have to say that, I mean, I checked it out and it looked really good to me. So I drove home and while, while I was driving, I realized that the Dortmund logo is a little bit crumpled up. I was, oh, did I, did I, did I get, get now in fake? Because he, have, of course, has cut the tag on the inside. Um, but doing a little bit of searching and so on uh, and looking and comparing it to other 2016 shirts, I'm fairly confident that this is an original. So yeah, dodge that bullet. I think it's a really interesting design and given that Dortmund next season also has something a little bit more striped, I thought this might be a nice contrast to this very, very classic looking. Uh, to, to me, this is classic Dortmund. This one is a little bit more out there. But I thought it's an interesting, not uh, totally ugly design because Dortmund sometimes have ugly designs. Although if you look at it, there's some shadow uh, stripe here in the middle as well, which kind of is odd. Puma doing Poom Puma things. And you see here, the 2016 font of course had this um, inner uh, bands as, as, as well. So they took the font and put it all the way on the front in the striping as well, which I think is a cool effect. Maybe there's too many dot patterns around the sponsor if you were to ask me, but you know, be it as it may. I have another Dortmund jersey, now we are three, and I think that sounds about all right for me. And of course, the time of getting this jersey is very right because Dortmund have qualified for the final, so I would have needed one anyway. So I'm happy now. I have three Dortmund jer jerseys. I think they all add a little bit different um, flavor to the collection and I will use them definitely in the video for the Champions League final coming up. Cannot believe that Dortmund made it, but you know, this will be a video for uh, to, to tomorrow. They deserved it overall. Now, uh, would I have chosen among all the Dortmund shirts this one? Probably not, to be honest. And probably I would have liked a, Europe, a, a European version, but I never found one that was really to my liking. It was always that I felt it a little bit too uh, expensive. 
I do regret there was the one from the last club season with the overall dot pattern from Kappa that looked quite spectacular. I um, would have loved to have that one, honestly, but hey, so be it. Uh, I'm quite pleased. As I said, uh, I have I really like this one. I have the very classic looking Dortmund jersey. I think it was from 2004. Self, Self-produced and I have this Puma one. Of course, there is a fourth one that one would need as a little bit more neon colored uh, because that was what happening in the 90s. Would love to have one of those, but they're a little bit more expensive. So yeah, let, let me know what you think about my teeny tiny Dortmund collection. Fun. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!